Hey there everybody, Stuart here from the Talent Equation with another Coaching Hacks 3 Minute Masterclass. I'm going to share a little secret with you. You ever had that situation where you are asking a load of questions of the athletes and you're sort of just not getting the kind of responses that you're looking for, you're getting the sort of generalities, you know, usually the same answer comes out every single time, you know, communication and these sorts of things. And you know that they're just sort of playing the game of giving you the answer that they think you want. I call it the coach guessing game where, you know, they think that you've got the right answer in your head. And all they've got to do out is throw enough random words to eventually get to a point where they think that they've got the answer that you've got. And then everybody's happy. And then we can move on to go back to doing the activity and we can stop answering the questions. You get question fatigue quite a bit. You know, kids are just like, they're tuned into the fact that you're going to ask a load of questions. They don't necessarily want to respond. So they're just sort of giving you the kind of the platitudes to try and get you to the point where you'll just get back to the activity. They can go back to doing whatever it was they were doing. They don't have to answer your questions anymore. Well, here's a question. And I, could, I think this is the best question ever. And the reason is you can't get this question wrong. Well, there is actually only one way you can get this question wrong. And the question is, what did you notice? Now, the only way you can get that question wrong is not to notice anything. Because you must have noticed something unless you were asleep or unconscious. So in reality, all we're doing is we're asking a group of players, what is it that you noticed about whatever it was that you were doing? And then, and then, and then from there, they can share with you whatever their experiences were, whatever the things that they saw, what they perceived, what the other things that they were, they were, uh, you know, they were interacting, where they were placing their attention. And from that, you get valuable, valuable information. And I highly recommend asking people directly what they notice, not like waiting for the hands to go off, asking an individual, what did you notice? Sometimes it's the quiet ones that give you the real insight. And then from there, you can utilize what they give you as a means by which to help to then shape the rest of the activity, because you're then using their information, their perceptions as the means by which to then frame and amend and alter whatever it is that you're doing to help them start to tune into whatever elements of the activity that you agree that you're going to work on together. So give it a go. What did you notice? It's a really, really powerful question. Now, sometimes you might not get a response immediately from people. They might say to you something like, oh, no, 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 no. in which case you say, oh, well, if you didn't notice anything this time, then you must have been playing with your eyes closed or you must have been playing with your ears closed. Because I'm assuming you must know something. So next time you go back into the game or the activity or whatever it is that you're doing, I want you to think about or just be a little bit more aware of what's going on. And in that process, then we'll come back to now, what did you notice? And then you, and then you keep going and keep going until eventually you start to get some really useful insights. And you take any insight you get and use that insight as a means by which to then engage and interact. And what you find is they then start to become much, much more aware naturally of what's happening around them. Their awareness increases and because their awareness increases they start to become more attuned to various things they're not just playing in their own little bubble so I highly recommend that question what did you notice the best question ever now if you like my little masterclass videos i'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button and also um the like button's always a good one too but also comment let me know how you're getting on with them and let me know if you've got some other ideas is there a better question you asked than my question i'd love to hear from you about that and by all means share it with people the more people can hear this the more people get the tips the more people have got opportunities to share i wish i had that when i started and uh, it would have been great if i if i'd have been able to have that so take it as your responsibility to share it with at least three people and then they get the benefit of this as well because not everybody's able to tap into it the other thing I'd say is if you want to get into more of these kinds of tips, most of these tips are coming from various people I've spoken to on the podcast, my podcast, the Talent Equation podcast, available on all good, all good podcatchers. Um, and also you'll see that I'm blogging and writing the odd article about these kinds of things over at thetalentequation.co.uk. Check it all out um, and, uh, and then you get them beamed straight into your inbox and you'll never miss a video, never miss a blog. Um, and you might get the odd little treat and tip bit that you don't see elsewhere. Okay, have a great time. See you again soon.